Hey, Janie, how are you? Thank you for coming. Hey, Janie, how are you? Thank you for coming. I always forget to turn that volume down. And Janie, you're traveling still, aren't you? I think I got the camera situated. Oops. Wrong thing. There we go. Hey, Robin. Last load. That is good news. Hey, Sheena. How are you? So this morning, we're going to work with the travel stuff. I did get the travel stuff loaded up yesterday into Zibit. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. And we're going to be working with that stuff this morning. I haven't cut anything out. Are we buffering? I don't know if it's just me. Oh, she's up. I hadn't I don't have to wake her up. She's up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to play with the little passport thing. This was a freebie in the group. So if you are in the group, this is in the group because it's not my creation. But it was a free download. So I put it in the book group. Oh, they're not there, Sheena. And we're not going to discuss that on here. Two weeks and then off two weeks. Oh, wow. Toyota shuts down in the summer for a week. Oh, my gosh. And then a week of vacation. That's cool. Hey, Brenda. Oh, your kids. Oh, yeah. I'm, so I did wake up your mother. Yes. See, she's here. And um, I don't know about your kids being rambunctious because when I was on there with your mom, I can't tell you. So we're going to start with. I'm sorry, Sheena. My mind's on other things. So we're going to start with this one and y'all can discuss that as much as y'all want to. And what we're going to do, the way this is designed, it is designed that you just fold it in half. Well, I'm going to cut it first, but you're supposed to just have to fold it in half and glue it together. Instead of trying to line stuff up, but I think we should probably line stuff up. That's the way I'm going to do it anyway. And I already put my little picture. That is me. So my little pictures on there. I figured if I was making a passport, I might as well make it a good one. <laughs> well, now she didn't give it away. If you can comment to your mom, you can see your mom. She's so funny. And bring this Sheena's mother in case y'all haven't figured that out yet. Or no. Brenda is Sheena's mother. I think I said that backward. Okay. If y'all buffer, let me know because my internet is still really unstable. Because we keep having rain. I keep thinking it's going to dry out. And then about the time I think we're going to dry out, here comes rain again. Okay, so I am going to glue these together and then fold it. And it said in the little directions that came with this. Hey, Robin. Oh, yeah, Danny, enjoy that time off. And you're picking up your RV tomorrow? I don't know what is wrong with my chat on my phone. It never works. So we're just going to glue this down. Monday, I'm doing the secret, the hidden giveaways. We're going to do the drawings for those. There are currently two hidden giveaways, one from last week and one from this week. Okay, and this goes like this. I need to make sure I get it on here correctly. And 
line it up the best as possible. I may have to do some trimming. Okay. And yep, some trimming is necessary. Now it said we could make like a little inserts for it for your travel stamps and stuff. So I decided we would make like a junk journal insert. And I'm going to have to cut these pages down. So we're just going to fold them and then cut them. So I have these little sales receipt papers. This is a steno pad paper. And another steno pad paper. And then because it's related to travel, map. So... I know I need to cut them down. My YouTube on my phone just went off. How odd. So it's going to take me a moment. Let me get back to my channel on my phone. I don't know what is going on with stuff today. So I'm just going to cut them down height-wise first. And I'm going to cut this piece of paper in half and then fold it. It goes in there too. Okay. So let's get this one dealt with. And I know I'm going to have to cut it off. Oh, no, it's the per it's the, like, almost the perfect height. We have to cut off a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to put the little papers together how I want them in the passport. I want the map in the middle. Where's the map? And now, I'm going to cut them this way. And now it's a perfect little passport booklet. Or as close to perfect as we're going to get it. <laughs> where's your expired passport so then I was thinking I really don't like this on the front but in the downloadable is this little world emblem so I was thinking I would rather have that on my front cover so
I need to cut it down just a little bit more. I think I'm going to go just inside these little brown lines. And put it on here thusly. So back to gluing. Hi, Nana. How are you? Thank you for coming. Thank you, Robin. So I'm going to put this on here. And it says to staple this in the middle. I don't think my stapler is going to reach to the middle. Let me check it. It, it will. So I am going to staple this. And it went through. So I'm going to put. Probably three staples in here. And one more. So now it's a good little passport book. Let me trim these little edges off at the top. Okay, so there's our little passport book so far. So, and then also in the downloadable. No, these are actually not in the downloadable. They're on the website, on the Facebook group, because they're not my design. Oh, wow. That is awesome, Nana. I understand. I know there's a lot of the Thimra stuff I wish I had kept before I was crafting after my dad died and we were throwing stuff away. And I think now, because I wasn't crafting yet and I, or paper crafting at all. And I think now all the stuff we, th all these old receipts and stuff, I should have kept camera. And I didn't. Wish I had known four years ago what I know now. So these are like little passport stamps that you can use in your little artificial passport. And see, I have not had a pat. Well, I had a passport when I was little. Haven't had a passport as an adult. So I don't even know where they stamped it. I don't know if they just stamped it randomly on pages. Or how they do it. So we're just going to kind of do this my way. Which I'm just going to cut out a section of these. That's what I'm thinking. them on the paper as my little passport stamps. I know, Brenda, hindsight is twenty twenty. So I want to just glue these on here. This could become like a little faux travel-y kind of journal. Um, that kind of thing. Also included in the downloadable are these stamps. And these are vintage stamps. And so there's these that you can cut out and use for different things. Travel-wise. 
And then I think on the next page, we'll use some of these bigger ones. So this is just to give you guys some ideas. Little travel ideas. And then if you're making tags for in here, that's what we have like the trains and the cars. Ooh, Portland. Let's see what else is on in here. Buenos Aires. That looks like an interesting one. Let me just cut this like this. There's an Atlanta one. Everybody goes through Atlanta. I find that funny that they included an Atlanta stamp. Well, I guess if you're going international, you're going to have an Atlanta stamp. So we'll put that one. Oh, Rome. I always wanted to go to Italy. I'll put Rome on here. Is there a France one? There's Venice, Rome, Philadelphia. We'll do Rome. And I don't see a France. No, no French ones. But, and the only reason I was looking is I have a picture of the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to put it in here anyway. <coughs> so this is just one idea. And I need to trim that off a little bit. My little travel thing. Boy, I'm not cutting good today. And we need to ink these up. And I printed them on cream colored cardstock. And they got scanned in that way so that when you download them and print them, they will print with the cream colored background. Oh, I know. Atlanta's horrible. Okay. So we're just going to glue these down. We're, and I didn't do the Atlanta one, so that's good. We're going to start with Washington Dulles. I guess that's where we're going instead of Atlanta. That we, We're going through that international airport. And then we're going to go to Portland, Maine. visit mother mother's relatives because she's from Maine then we're going to work our way across the ocean to Rome and then to Buenos Aires this boy this is a weird trip isn't it Now, I want the Eiffel Tower image, which is blurry, and that's just the way the image is. My camera, so I'm going to just act like my camera, that day that it was like really cloudy and stuff, and my camera just wasn't functioning good, or the photographer, who would be me, was a bad photographer. I guess that's the Eiffel Tower. It looks kind of like it anyway. And we're going to just put that there. But I'm going to ink it and cut this straighter. I can't cut a straight line. Which I've known that for a long time. Yeah. 
and then we're going to get through this is going to be the last thing we're going to do in our little passport thing and we're going to move on to building something else But I just thought it would be fun to make like a fake traveling thing. Hey, Mary, how are you? Thank you for coming. We're working on our fake passport. Faux passport. And making like a little travel journal passporty thing. See, me and corners, you guys. Me and corners. Never work. Okay. So we have these pages we can fill up while we travel. And there's even another map that we can use and put in there. I'm just going to cut it off loose so I can stack it because we're going to probably use these in a minute. I'm going to move our passport stamps out of the way. And these ones too. These are cool. That's in Germany. I don't know where that is. An immigration stamp. Number 55 landed. These are kind of cool. So we're just going to set those off to the side. We're going to set our little passport off to the side. Thank you, Mary. So now in the downloadable was this on this. No, this is on the Facebook page because it's not mine again. But I think it's about the size of a TN, which is great. Traveler's Notebook. We're talking travel. So I'm going to trim it out. We're not going to cut this apart. We're just going to trim. And I'm going to turn this into a traveler's notebook. But I have some other ideas for this that I'll go over. Another way to use it, like in a journal, besides a, a traveler's notebook insert. But I thought this would be great if you're taking a trip. You could put this in there. This could be the cover to your little traveler's notebook. Which stamps? These ones, Nana, I got these on the, um, I typed in Pinterest. Um, but now they're in my Facebook group in the albums. This is my download, Mary. It's on my um, Zibit store. Now, these are in the Facebook group because these are not my design. These are in the Facebook group. This is in the Facebook group. And the passport. Those are the four things that are in the Facebook group. They're not my design. They were free downloads. The rest of this is my my collage papers, my designs. Well, I did not design the stamps. I found them all and collaged them together. Um, these little photos, I found them all and put them in the collage sheet. So there is a download for that on my Zibit store for those but the other four are in my facebook group foxy's followers there's a link below the video and if you belong to the facebook group you can go into the albums and download these i also found them on pinterest and i'm trying to remember i think i typed in passport stamps printable passport stamps and you should get something like this that you can just print out and then for the passport i typed in printable passport template and that's how I got that. It is. This is cream colored cardstock. And they're backed like this in where I when I put them up in the group because I printed them on this when I scanned them back in so it would print correctly. They're in there so that if you print them, they're gonna print just like this. 
even if you print it on white paper, it's going to print just like this because it's got that manila background. But this is manila cardstock. It's that color on both sides. So we're going to just fold this in half. But an idea for a journal would be fold it in half. Before you do anything, cut a slit across here. Glue your three sides down. And then you have a place you can put things. You have a pocket right here, like a secret pocket. So that was an idea for if you wanted to use it as a pocket in a journal. You could also just glue this side and this side and have a pocket here to put it in a journal. But we're turning this into like a traveler's notebook. And it prints blurry like that, y'all. I mean, this part's pretty clear. This is blurry. Um, it's not my design. Nothing I could do about that. So, like I said, I thought it would just make a great traveler's notebook insert kind of thing. Or a traveler's notebook itself. And these are the papers that I picked for the traveler's notebook thing. And we're going to have to trim them again. So we got a map, children's writing tablet paper, which I'm going to cut in half and then, well, let's see, let's do it this way. We may make this into like a little flip out. Is that too wide? No, that is wide enough. Okay, so if I use this as my measuring tool, we should be good. And then, should be able to have a flip out. Yes. So, that worked out good. This one I am going to cut in half. This is journal composition book paper. And I'm just cutting it where the thread lines were. I'm going to fold it in half. Let's see. Thinking. I'm going to put little insert pockets on both sides of this one. And it's not folded straight, so I'm really folding. This was grid paper, but when I coffee dye the grid paper, the grid lines come off. Okay. I hope that's the right size. It is. And then this one. I'm going to fold like this. So we have the pocket on this side. That'll work. Right, the line on the grid paper, I don't know why. Now, the line stayed on on this notebook paper from the composition book. It stayed on the children's tablet paper. But on my steno pad paper, the lines came off except the red line down the middle. Okay, I may use these, but before we do, let's see what we got. I thought I folded up a map. 
and I have another map paper. Oh, I did. It's inside of here. So we're just going to build off of this one. I'm going to turn this the other way. And we're gonna prop we're gonna need to trim the tops off. So then I want to put the coffee dyed. And we'll put this one. And on the coffee, the pockets on that side. So this time we want it this side. Then what I think I'm going to do is just fold this one and cut that side off so we can make pockets with it. Okay, so now we have our little insert. come up here to the top and we're going to just trim these edges off. and this is the way I trim oops they went flying confetti okay so now we have our little traveler's notebook and it's ready to be embellished and we have this to make a pocket we have that other piece so again, you can put notes about a trip that you're taking, a vacation you're going on, that kind of thing. And Miss Muffet is snoring under the table. Thank you, Mary. So you could have this to go when you're going on a trip and my map needs to flip around. It is upside down. So when you're going on a trip, you would have this. You can put little pockets in here. We've already got some built-in pockets. Here we can just glue these down. Gives you a tuck spot. And here's this one on this side. Over here we have this whole little foldy out part. And this paper is upside down. So let's turn that around and make the fold out part on the other side. And then the other side of that paper has a little, you can glue it down and make it another little tuck spot pocket. That's going to be a tuck spot pocket. Now you want to go on a trip, Robin? I'm going to do faux trips. Um, when we went to Maryland last year, we stopped at all the rest areas and we got all this stuff. So I am thinking I'm going to save this. And then after our series is over because we're on tea for travel then i can go and i can embellish this and make it into a faux vacation or something from those travel guides that we picked up so i just need to decide am i going to go to chattanooga nashville somewhere in west virginia maryland georgia because we got stuff from everywhere from those states because we had to go through those to get to maryland so I think that would be a cool idea. A fake traveler's notebook. And I'm going to include this little paper in the front for pockets. And then I would embellish the cover with things that I found in those books. So I'm having a fake vacation. I don't know what you call that, but I'm going to do a fake vacation. So... There's this idea. Just, And then you can put pictures in here as well. So even though this is just plain paper, you could still stick photos in here of your trip and write notes. And that's upside down. Why is all my papers upside down? And that's upside down. Okay, now we have, and the coffee guy doesn't matter. We got the map right. Okay, everything's right side up now. So, oh, I know Ocean City is gorgeous. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to save this. I do think I am going to put this page in here. 
And let's fold it up and make it a short page. Before we fold it up, let's do this. Cut the edge off. We know we need it to be about that wide. So that's going to give me another little pocket piece I can use for pockets. And then let's make it short and make pockets at the bottom. And put it, refold it. And so it would just be, let's put it here. But like up the page a little bit like that. I think that's kind of cool. So that's what, and I'm going to clip this with a little clip. Oh, let me put this in here. So I don't lose any of my items. Now, Nana, if you were asking about these stamps, these, um, and found these stamps and then I put them collaged and made them small they all downloaded individually and I had to put them on and make them stamp size oh wow Brenda I've been to a lot of states because daddy was in the army we lived in Maryland, California, Maine, here in Alabama. Mother and daddy lived in Tennessee for a while. And Kentucky. I didn't live there, but they did. Because it was before me. Thank you, Mary. So this we're going to see again when I make the fake vacation book. But it's an idea. So if you're going on a trip or you've been on a trip, you can make one of these and take all your vacation photos and put in here and put your note that trip. And then you would have a place to keep them. Okay, so we're going to set that aside because we have one more thing to build today from the download. So from the download, we have a boarding pass. I hunted in our boarding pass. This is it does not come this way. I found this. I found this. I put them together. So we can just fold them and turn it into a boarding pass. So I'm just going to cut this edge off. We're going to, oh, I got to cut this edge off. And we're going to fold it. These come in the downloadable kit. It's called travel kit on my website. So we're going to fold it. We're going to glue it shut. And this was a misprint. That's the actual way it came. And I looked at it and I. So I just printed on the back of it. Because I knew I was going to glue them together. Don't waste your paper. Okay. Okay. And there is a bone folder. It's hiding over here. I forget because I hadn't had a bone folder in so long. Well, the whole time. <laughs> so now we are going to come back to this side. Okay, where's the ruler? Because if I do that, this is going to be the way this crookedest line. I know this is going to fold here. OK, 
today. So this is designed to make a trifold. I'm just putting a crease in it where I want the next fold to be. And so there, now you have this little boarding pass, trifoldy thing with a pretty airplane on it. It tells you where you're, you can write in all this information from to the name of the passenger, flight information. And then you could put this in your little traveler's notebook. This might have been a boarding pass for part of your trip or something. Or we could put it in our little passport journal-y thing because it will fit in there, right? Mm, it won't fit in there. But it was an idea. But you could definitely put it in here in a pocket or something in a tuck and have it as part of your traveling journal. So if you're wanting to make like little travel cards and stuff, that's what the rest of the kit is. So you have tickets you can put stuff on. There's some airmail stamps. There's that airplane again. Um, you have all of these stamps. You have the train and the cars. And those have people. Those could be old-timey relatives. And then we have these, which that's the original. We have these bus tickets. And I'm thinking they're bus tickets. It's from a trans Burr Corporation Transport Department. And they would punch them. Borders you can put on stuff. I included some postcards. Some more of those little train tickets. And then we have these. These are travel luggage tag thingies. Which I just thought were cool. Stateroom baggage. So that could be a stateroom. I don't know if they have staterooms on trains. But it could be a boat. Ship. Cruise. Thing. Yeah. So I just thought these made cool tags for a travel journal. If you're doing a travel journal or any kind of a travel, like when we make our little faux thing, we have these that we could use. China. Well, that's the only one I know. China. <laughs> that's bad. And then we also have some other boarding passes. And it cut this edge off, and I don't know why. But it did. And on, when I looked at it before I printed it, that edge was not cut off. So, it's not cut off in the downloadable. This happened on my printer. I don't know why. It should not cut that off, because on the when I looked at it before I printed it, that was there. So... A whole bunch of boarding passes you can cut apart and turn into tags, which is what I was thinking of doing with them. Just making them tags in a travel journal and having those as tags. So, map paper would make good journaling pages for this. Yeah, I thought they had staterooms on trains. So, map pages, if you're making a travel journal, map pages would be good. Trying to figure out, how did this page come out? Oh, it's because it's stuck on another page. There we go. So if you're doing a travel journal, you could download maps. You could just get a map and cut it apart and pretend it's other map. Use that, you know, gesso on it. Use that as your background. Maybe we should add that to our little ideas book. Well, not our ideas, but, but our thing where we were writing down other ideas for when this is over. This series. Where's my pen? I just had a pen earlier. I had a pen. Right, here it is. 
So, because I have maps go over and use those. You started the candy paper. I am saving candy papers and candy boxes so that I can. So a travel journal, background pages, because we I think we have this stuff that we need for tickets and that kind of thing. We just need some background pages. There we go. And maybe some more like Eiffel Tower. Um, what's something in Rome we could get? Leaning Tower of Pisa. Those kind of things. And I want to get all these little scraps off my desk. So journaling cards with the trains on them and the planes and the little cars. Just all, you know. This little gloop right here, these could be really cool to put on a journaling card or make tags out of for a travel journal. They're a nice size for tags. Of course, I trimmed that down a little bit. So, and those were on one of the pages from the kit on the store. My brain must not be awake today. So I think that's one thing we're going to do is save our stuff up and work on our travel -y things. And another video later. This was just to give you some ideas of some things you could do for a travel journal or a traveler's notebook. I like these stamps and the postcards because what I like to do is take my postcards. Which I'm going to leave them together, but I want some stamps. What stamp? I want this bird. Oh, I'm going to leave it a little bit bigger of an edge so I can make it stamp like. And I'm going to take these scissors and turn this into a stamp, sort of. And then I would put it on top of the stamp that's currently on there. So that's what I do in my postcards. I decorate them up. Find different stamps. Decorate over the writings, that kind of thing. And so, let's see, we have some other stamps. This is from, it's a Polska, so I guess that's from Poland. So, we could put a stamp on here from Poland that looks like somebody sent us a postcard from there. Or that we sent a postcard from there on our travels. So this one doesn't really have a stamp on it. It just says place stamp here. But somebody wrote a lot of notes on that. They must not have had any paper handy. Or maybe they put it inside in the envelope or something. But we're going to put a stamp. And I love this postcard because it only has on the front the address. And I'm glad they took all the other information off. It says this side of card is for address. So this is the side with the address. Mrs. Mary Galloway. Brett Stowe. Stamp is canceled. So then you could actually take this one, cut it out, and write stuff on it as if that's what was on the postcard to begin with. I like that. I love that one because it's the only one I've ever seen 
with that part. Usually you see them this way. So it made it into the grouping because it's that way. So what do you guys think of all these little travel the idea things? We're going to pull this down because we're done making stuff for today. We can just chat now because this was cool. You like the merit. Thank you. So this was a quick video today. Just a very quick travel ideas. Tomorrow is not tomorrow. Monday is underlayments. It's going to be a, more of a talking demo kind of thing than anything else. Underlayments. I'm going to edge my book. Make it look a little antique. -y. My little travel -y book here. I don't know why she's barking. There's nobody here. She just barking. I don't know what it is. And then she, of course, gets Miss Muffet awake and gets her barking. So she's not snoring and keeping us company anymore. Thank you, Mary. Oh, cool, Brenda. So this is a way for you to use those and cut out stuff and put it together. You want it to be for your memories. Kind of what I want to do. Mo has all kind of pictures from when we lived in Africa. I want to get some of those and put them in here. Or in my passport because we went to Africa. Something. Right, you could get rid of your beat up box. So that's an idea. Because we have all kind of pictures from when we were in Africa. Yeah, Mary, we lived in Africa for, um, I went to kindergarten there. My little brother was born there. I actually met the king of Asmara, Ethiopia. Well, he was the king of Ethiopia. Haile Selassie. He came to my classroom. While we were in kindergarten, this big white limousine drove up. Thank you, Robin. And out of the limo, which I had never seen a car that big. I was like four and a half. And so out of the limo, all these people got out. And they came around to the side that was closest to the building and us and opened the door. And he got out. And he was all dressed in white. A lot of gold chains. And his headdress which also had gold and jewels on it. And what I found int most interesting with, was, keep in mind, we were all four and a half to five years old. He was our height. He was not much taller than we were. And so to me, that was just so cool because here's an adult. I mean, I didn't know, understand what a king was at that age, but I knew that he was grown, but he was our size. And it was just funny. But I remember him coming. So when we did Kings on K's, that story is on that video as well as his a picture of him. Because I actually met him. I didn't meet any queens though, so I couldn't give you a queen story like that. When we got to Q. Hey Misty, how are you? You love the travel kit. Thank you. I think it's awesome for a travel journal. Oh, cool, Misty. Yeah, I think it's great for like a travel journal and that kind of thing. This makes a perfect TN kind of deal. Oh, you're so welcome, Mary. 
I'm doing good. How are you? So, and then this is, I showed y'all the washi tape yesterday and I put it down on the paper and I love this washi because it's actually stamped for travel. So that's a, a good, so I put it on here and made it into borders. It's no longer washi tape, it's borders, but it's got the stamps on it. And I thought that was kind of cool for a travel journal. With those travel tickets. So. I think this is going to be fun. When we make our little faux vacation things. Fake travel -y things. So yep. I think it will be very cool. And we got our little fake boarding pass. So we can get on our little airplanes. Zip zip. After this series, we're going to start doing some other different things. So I'm saving this here. In the meantime, though, I think I'm going to take some matte paper, take one of my maps and put some gesso on it just to kind of mute it out a little bit and make some backgrounds for to put in like a, a travel journal so it'll be after this series we can do our fake stuff fake vacations i don't know what we would call those if you stay home instead of going on vacation they call it a staycation so would this be a, a vacation because it's fake or a vocation a vocation I like vocation. We'll go on some vocations. <laughs> you want to make one with me? Oh, that would be fun, Misty. So I think it'd be cool. And see with what's in the kit, like I was saying, you came in a little bit late. We have stamps. We have these we could make into tags or tuck spots, belly bands. Little vehicles we have stamps we can use which i cut some out of and put on some postcards already we have down let's rotate postcards some more things that could be turned into tags actual luggage tags a stateroom tag so if we go on a cruise we have our stateroom baggage check thing some more boarding passes that could be turned into tags. And then we have these little tickets and airmail stamps. And then these were our passport things that we downloaded that are in the Facebook group. Oh, no. Have you. Misty, have you tried cleaning out your cookies and. Your temporary files, the, your, your browsing history and stuff like that on your browser, because that'll stop it. You may have old cookies in there. Is anybody else having trouble getting in the Zibit store? Oh, wow. So Zibit's not letting you sign in. I would email them. Because I can get in through the links with no problem. Yeah, because Misty, if you can't even log in, you can't even update your own store. Well, there's an unlimited supply of these because digitals, I just, I don't even mark a quantity. I put it up as unlimited. There's, you know, I'm not going to sell just like 30, make it 30 travel kits are available. That's ridiculous. Oh, Yeah. Was well, there a way to sign out maybe as a guest or something?
Like, if you just go to the link, it won't let you even get to my store. Because you should be able to go to the store without having to sign in. Because not everybody that's going to buy is going to have a Zibit account. So you should just be able to like click the link and it pull up my store without you having to log in or anything. Okay, and um, if you can't, just message me and we'll work out. We'll see if we can get it worked out somehow. You know, I would go ahead, Brent, no, you're 30 days to run the trial out and then spend $12 a month and not have stuff up there. Because back when I first got my Zibit store, you could get one free. It was based on how many things you had listed. I had nothing listed, but I had the store. And then they changed it over to the new way. Oh, your 30 days expire today? Aw, we have to work on getting you some stuff in there. Oh, you're welcome, Misty. Anything I can do to help? Okay. So we have two videos currently up with recorded videos so they didn't they weren't lives that have hidden giveaways in them if you have not watched the recorded videos from last week there was only one and this week so far you would probably want to do that so that you can participate in the hidden giveaways there's some really cool prizes um the first hidden giveaway has this if I turn it around so the rose is pretty. This little journal, it comes with these three large or four large tags. This one's an altered time card tag. And then it's just ready to be embellished. It's got an envelope in it with some things in the envelope, big things. It's packed. What is this? Let's unpaper clip it and see what all's in here because this envelope feels, oh, it's got a little book in it. I knew it felt kind of full. So you're going to get that little book in that envelope. Let's paper clip it back. And then you're going to get the whole little journal with the tags that you can put where you want them to go. So that's the giveaway for the first hidden giveaway. Second hidden giveaway is this little envelope journal. And it's got tags, it's got book pages in it, and this tag page. And then I decorated the envelope. This is a pocket with a thimmer in it. There's a better walkthrough on the video. And then there's this pocket. It's got a thimmer cards in it. This is a collage page. I do have these collage papers. They will be going up in the Zibit store soon. Because this is collage paper that I made. And then there's this picture. This pocket with a thimmer in it that's decorated. And then tuck spot with a thimmer. Another little tuck spot down here with some of thimmer. And then this double pockets here. This They both have the thimmer in them. And then it just closes and it's made completely out of envelopes. And that just slides down behind that little circle to hold it closed. And this is the second secret giveaway prize. Oh, thank you, Brenda.
so these are the hidden giveaways if you haven't looked at the videos you want to go watch the recordings and so you'll know what to do to be entered into those and those are going to give i'm going to give those away on monday Because I can't keep every, unfortunately, because I run out of room. And I'm thinking about at some point, I need to have an auction or a sale because I have a lot of journals here. Is any Would any of y'all be interested in doing, you know, having a participating or purchasing if I did an auction or a sale. I also have a tons of jewelry that I made that I need to try to sell. Great, Misty. It's just there's so many auctions and stuff going on. It's like there's not a good time to do a sale. A black and white journal, Misty. One of mine. Mary, you'd be interested. Okay. And <clears throat> Misty, yes. <laughs> I have to really work on getting stuff listed better to you guys because I'm that's it's just a pain to put stuff in a store. All the pictures you have to take, you got to come up with the description. If you've ever done a store, you know it's I would rather sit here and create than do the uploading into Zibit thing. Maybe I can get my husband to help with that part. No, his descriptions wouldn't be good. Scratch that whole idea. That would not be a good idea. Can you imagine a man writing a description for a journal? That would be funny. Oh, well, Misty. It is upsetting, especially if you're making a journal to swap journals and you've made yours and then they flake on you. It's like, what are you going to do with that journal that you made for that specific person? That's why it is so important. That's why this is part of why I don't want to do swaps and things in my group, because I don't want to be responsible for when somebody does the flaking thing. It's horrible when somebody does that to you. And you guys, I know there's only six of you on here right now. I do custom orders as well. I mean, Misty ordered um, the one I made for her sister. That was a custom order and she's in here. Oh, Misty, that's horrible. So I do custom orders. So if you know that there's a certain type of journal you want, I will do everything I can to make that journal for you. You know. Thank you, Misty. So I was just going to put that out there that I do custom work. As well as the stuff that I do just because I like it. So I think that's it for today, guys. I think we're going to go on and get off of here. I know Maddie is having a sale. I don't know if y'all are interested, but we could all go over to Maddie's. I can't because I have some things I got to do around here. But Maddie is having a sale. Um, Spectrum Art Maddie. It's been an ongoing sale this week. So definitely go show her some support. Also, you guys, I wanted to mention this and she didn't come in. Before we go, it's, oh, let me look to see the name of the channel. Oh, my gosh. I had somebody reach out to me yesterday. And she makes, she's like an older woman. Um, Well, I guess more my age. I guess I just called myself an older woman. 
uh, anyway let's see what her channel name is she started making barbie doll videos for her granddaughter she makes all their costumes, the sets, and the props. So, if you've got grandchildren, small girl grandchildren, these would be great videos. It's Fabulous Freddy Barbie. And let me type that in chat. And I did a search. And as soon as I typed in Fabulous Freddy on YouTube, it came up. She's a new channel, a relatively new channel. She only has like 37 videos. There you go. I don't have her link. Um, but she wanted me, you know, to kind of help spread the word about her channel. So this is a way to support people with, like, she does record it. So I could go watch videos and give a thumbs up and leave a comment. But this is going to help get her subscribers. So this is a way to show support without having to watch the videos and comment on all videos i mean i'm going to do that too i'm going to watch as many as i can especially with livy while i have her but this is another way to show support share information with your friends so that's her it, the name of her channel is fabulous freddie barbie the icon is a barbie doll head excuse me the icon is a barbie doll head which i found hilarious so that's when you'll know you have the right channel her icon is a barbie doll head but it comes right up when you type in Fabulous Freddy. Check her out. Is that her channel, Misty? Thank you. So, Misty, put the link up for us. Thank you, Misty. I appreciate that. So, check her channel out. I'm not saying you have to subscribe to her. Just check her channel out. And if you know somebody who has a small daughter or a daughter who loves these, these are safe videos, you guys. She's making them for her granddaughter. I find it interesting that she makes all the props and the clothes. That could actually be something that she might could look into doing as well. Maybe some videos on that for other people that want to make Barbie doll clothes. Or the props. Because if she's making props for Barbies, they're miniature props. So that could be something. But I just thought it was interesting and I wanted to put out there. Go check out her channel. So that's really all now. I promoted her channel and that kind of thing. And I hope everybody has a great day. Monday, we're going to do underlayments. So that's what we're going to be talking about Monday, which is anything that you put under paper. It could be other paper. It's anything that goes under your paper. So if you're doing collage, if you're doing book paper and adding book paper backgrounds, that kind of thing. Mainly, we're going to be talking about glues and stuff to adhere paper to other paper. Oh, wow, Brenda. That's cool. So that's it, everybody. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Enjoy your weekend. I will be putting up several videos over the weekend. I won't be live over the weekend, but I will be back live on Monday morning. I hope you all enjoy your weekend and have a great rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Mary.